Good afternoon, Colin here with TechOut, and today we're going to be talking about public betas and whether or not you should install them, and going over some of the risk, especially if you're on an Apple Watch. Um, now the iPhone, iPad, and Mac, if you install the public beta on there and you have issues, you can always revert back. Um, of course, the iPad and the iPhone, you'll need a Mac to do that. Um, with You'll have to plug it into the Mac and download the restore file and go back to iOS 16. Uh, the Apple Watch you cannot downgrade, so if you have issues on the Apple Watch, you will not be able to downgrade, so just keep that in mind. Um, if there's something you don't like, or if there's something that doesn't work, you're just going to have to wait it out until the next beta, uh, because the Apple Watch cannot be reverted. Uh, if you install the Mac OS beta, public beta, um, you will need another Mac to restore your Mac back to a previous version using Apple Configurator. So, configurator. So, on the iPhone, of course, you just go into settings here, and you'll go to, you have to be signed in with your Apple ID. Go to general and software update, and then once this loads, you'll see beta updates right here. And when the public beta is available, uh, make sure you're signed up with the public beta, uh, for the public beta on the Apple website. And then you should see a public beta option right here when you have uh, that Apple ID signed in on your device. Um, so that's all you need to do right there. Right now we're uh, get waiting on beta 3, so um, the public beta is likely going to be based on beta 2, which has been pretty stable. They fixed a lot of the big issues that we had in beta 1. Um, watch OS battery life is still kind of iffy, so keep that in mind. But everything on the phone itself um, is doing pretty good. So I, I wouldn't say it's a huge risk to install it on your main device. Like I said, if you have a Mac or a, a PC, you can always download the restore file and go back. Um, but if you're on the fence about it, I would hold off on the Apple Watch um, and at least let some other people test it out and see how it is first before you install it on your own watch um, if you're worried about any issues. Um, you can always wait a couple days and see if there's any major problems reported and install it then. But other than that, I would say the public beta program is definitely a go. Um, if you want to run the betas, if you want to try iOS 17 out a little bit early, um, but you don't want all the risk associated with the developer beta, um, I would definitely go with the public beta. I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.